Hello. This story may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with a brand new game called The Temple of No from Crows, 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 who have made the awesome Dr. Langaskov, the Tiger, and the Terribly Cursed Emerald. Uh, I'll give you a link to that in the top right corner with the, the letter I with the cards right now. And uh, created by William Pugh, who is a contributor to The Stanley Parable, a game I played and loved. I'll give you a link to that as well. Description and in the cards and at the end of this video. Okay, cool. Let's dive into this, guys. You play this by clicking on the underlined words, and I am brave enough to do so. So, am I brave like a storm, a bear, a sailor? I'm brave like a bear. Enough of <laughs> enough of that. This isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Oh, yes, I am. I'm brave as hell. Good. This story took place a long time ago. It's a good one. Anyway, let's get this dusty old tome out and hear a fantastic tale. It is called The Brave Like a Bear Explorer, The Jungle of Doubt, and The Temple of No, presented by Crows, Crows, Crows. Let's begin. So this is a magical book. Its magical power is to be incredibly relatable. Let's be a dude. So Charles started his venture in the way he often starts his adventures, in the field outside his house picking daisies. He'd pick five or six, weave them into a little tiara for his daughter he'd always wanted, and wait a second, this is sounding like a run-of-the-mill generic twine- Yeah, this isn't a story about daisies and lost loves. Let's turn a couple of these pages and get into the good stuff. Twine, by the way, is a game-creating engine, uh, but often you get boring text-based adventures. So this is text-based, but hopefully not boring. Turn the page. The withered trees of his backyard. He'd missed his dark-haired love every day of his life since he... Ke nope, keep going. Uh, the autumn leaves would fall soon. He then thought upon his old primary school, in which his headmaster had always said nothing lasts for... Yeah, right, keep turning. Turn page. Turn to ash. The frogs hopped around in the pond, and as he moved slowly, his parents' words came to him. Remember the explorer's oath. Look, don't... For sake, let's swear, I swear this gets good soon. The dog yapped and yapped. Its owner shouted, Beaker, be still, with a roar. Charles knew this woman would never cease to, we must nearly be there, seriously. Uh, the baboon gave a mighty screech and tore upon his face like a primate threshing mach, keep going. Wait, 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 go back one. Yeah, that did sound good. Hmm. Oh, wait, Charles was just explaining how Charles lost his eye. It says he fought a baboon in one of his early, real earlier adventures. Sorry, turn 50 more pages. Fucking jungle transition and audio. You noticing this? Depression Quest didn't have this. Right, let's go. Right into the story. Charles has entered the jungle of doubt on his journey to find... The map that sees all things that have ever been or will be, but in map form. This map was legendary. Old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know the tales, yeah. Anyway, so Charles knew he proper wanted the map to tell the secrets of the universe. If he brought it back to civilization, he would truly achieve greatness. He knew in his warm, fleshy human heart. The temple held this map was close. Charles looked up, down, and all around. All around the jungle surrounding him, he had to cut through the leaves, the brush, the flora, and the debris to get the temple he was going to. Up at the mossy green leaves, blah blah blah, down on the ground, blah 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 blah. Okay, let's cut through these leaves, baby. Charles cut through the leaves with the brush and the flora and the jungle debris he... Sang a little song. That's what I'd do. He thought the player would sing along. Okay. You, the player, must sing to the background music. If you don't, you know you will have let yourself down, and you won't enjoy this game if you don't put the effort in. I guess we're singing. I can't sing. 
cutting through the leaves, pushing past the trees, slashing away at these brush, flora, and jungle debris. My name is Charles and I'm singing a song to take up the time while I travel along the path to the temple of No. That is where I'm going to go, cutting through the leaves, pushing past the trees, slashing away at these brush jungle flora debris. Going on an adventure today, this game is really, really, really fun to play. Twine games can be fun, I will shout. Check me singing in the jungle of doubt. Cutting through the leaves, pushing past the trees, slashing away at these blush for a jungle debris. Soon I'll be at the Temple of No. It's got lots of treasure and I'm going to go take some back to my hometown. Keep it for myself and not share any around. Cutting through the leaves, pushing past the trees, and slashing away at these brush flora jungle debris. If you don't sing the song, then you know you've let yourself. Oh, it's. Okay, yeah, we're done singing. If you didn't sing the song, then you know you've let yourself down. You need to let yourself have fun in your life and don't try to be so serious. Glad I didn't. If you didn't sing the song, well, we're not reading that. If you did, well done. You are cool now. Yes, I'm finally cool, guys. Charles wasn't there yet. He still had much jungle to cut through, so he thought about some shit. Thought about how he'd wish some brought, he'd bought some Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe. He continued to think about how his nose was itchy. But if he'd bought those Geox shoes, he would likely have to be so comfortable that he never bothered about that meager itch nose. Nose itch. He continued to think Geox, the shoes that breathe. Great ad, guys. Go buy some Geox Shoes That Breathe, trademark, 2016. Fucking hell, Charles thought. Still a ways to go. So he considered the possibility that life was futile. He thought about futility for a while, and remembered it wasn't any fun to think about, so he thought about a frog doing a little dance. Yeah! do 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 Frog dance! Finally, he stopped imagining things. What a weirdo. He did it all. Thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was fruitful, and then, light. Charles emerged from the jungle, and he saw the Temple of No. Charles marveled at its magnificence, probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Like, that is big. Anyway. We are not going anywhere just sitting around here giving exposition. Let's climb some stairs. Up. Up. Up the stairs we go. And then the temple. Right, so it's temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath, of course. Look, do not touch. No problem. Charles walked carefully down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. He arrived at a large hall with three doors. That's three. Total of three doors. Unos, dos, tres. Toi. That is one plus two. Three doors. Right, selection time, everybody. Okay, so you got left, which is the three dots. You got middle, which is the, whatchamacallit here, uh, omega, lululemon, or anti-left, which is a number three. What's this thing? That looks like another door. Uh, let's go with the left door. Oh, wow, it's the spike room. Uh, definition of spikes, that doesn't apply. Uh, I guess we should turn back around. That's fine. Let's go down the middle door. Okay, really big old room. More stairs. Let's climb them. We go up. Up. And up the stairs. Yes. Remember back in that, that thing when you picked the sailor storm, blah, blah? Yeah, those were good times. Bear, I picked the bear. Don't blah, blah the bear. Oh. And wait, wait. A boulder. Run away, dude. Run. No. There's danger, real and present danger. Are you excited? Scream if you want to progress to the next section of the game. Ah! 
All right. That sounds like the actual audio from Temple of Doom. Anyway, uh, only the last door to try. Oh boy, oh boy. Charles is bad at this door choosing thing. Am I right? Let's go with the anti-left door. Oh, Indy's worst nightmare. Why did it have to be snakes? In this room, there's a bunch of snakes and they're having a pool party. Remember that game, Snake? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, no, let's talk to the snakes. What? That doesn't make any sense. Of course not. Hey, snakes. Yeah, I didn't think they'd talk back. Um, and snakes are not treasure. I agree. So, spooky snake room. Let's go back in the other one. So, no doors lead to the right path. Can no drawer truly bring us what we want in life? Perhaps that is the meaning of this tale. That you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms, and you'll still never have what you're looking for? Wow, that really makes you think, eh? It makes you think. The end. Oh, wait. One more door over to the right. Let's do this thing. Charles entered the door and found the great leader's chamber. On the seat was the oh, great hello, leader. Sir. Come on in, come on in. Right, His so, um, voice hello. echoed through the room. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice, uh, hello? Uh, and, and Charles listened. And he, he listened some more. Right. Um, and then he proceeded to um, okay. uh, ask yeah, for the map. Nice There's the map, that. guys. Right. Hello. My name is Can I have well, the map? Um, What? Okay, this angered the great leader, so Charles decided to. But um, that you can't have the map. Okay? That's the only option. So, sorry, there's been a bit of a uh, miscommunication here. Um, the map, um, old artifact of the temple. Okay, predates yeah. me. Can I? Predates uh, me. Predates a whole load of people. You know. Um, right, but I want it. I'm allowed to look at the map. You know. Oh, so, well, that so, seems so, unfair, doesn't it? Don't you want to share your knowledge with the world? No, you know what? Let's just end this. <laughs> but little did he know, in killing the great leader, trademark 2016, he would become the great leader, trademark 2016, and violate the explorer's oath. No! How could Charles have forgotten the explorer's oath? It was très important. French. Now, as his great leader loyalists approached him, ready to worship him as their new god, Chuck, he decided right here, right now, if he would break vows and just totally be a cool ruler in the jungle, or grab the map and take it back to Civilization V. Let's do it, guys. Let's stay in the jungle. That's what he did. That's what Charles did. Or should I say, that's what I did. Charles has been telling us this story all along. That's right, fools. I'm old Charles. And that shit happened to me. I don't know what lessons I learned or if I learned any lessons at all, but I got the map. I got it. It's given me pieces of insight. Many. Because you've heard my tale and listened to my words, I will tell you one piece of wisdom right now. The wisdom is, have you ever played a really good game, just like made in twine, like one that's actually good, not just like a good for twine game? That's it. It's the end. Thank you for playing. This game was designed and illustrated by Dom and Dominic Johan. That's his Twitter handle right there. I follow him. Written and voice acted. Uh, excellent voice acting by William Pugh is the great leader. He's at Honest William on Twitter. He's the one from the Stanley Parable and the head of Crows, 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 who made this and a few of the other great games I have played. So Crows, Crows, Crows has made Dr. Langeskov, the tiger and the terribly cursed emerald. That game is so funny, guys. It is one of the funniest free games I have ever played. I will put a link to it on the left side of your screen. And of course, uh, William Pugh is also behind the Stanley Parable. I played that entire game in 12 parts, and I will put a link to it on the right side. If 
you can't click these links because you're on mobile or something. There are cards in the top right corner. Click on those and you'll be able to access every video I've linked to you in this video. And a, the description will be full of links to playlists with uh, the games I've been talking about today. So uh, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for uh, checking this out. Uh, this has been The Temple of No by Crows, Crows, Crows. And thank you to Crows, Crows, Crows for sending it to me. If you guys want uh, access to some of their free, amazing games, sign up for their secret email club. Just go to crowscrowscrows.com and sign up, and you will get access when they release anything and everything new. That's going to do it for this one. My name is Unite the Clans, and I will see you all in my next video.